Dad, are you listening to me? We talked about this yesterday, honey. Don't you remember? Bob, you said you'd pick up the kids after school. They waited over an hour. Why can't you do this one simple thing? Hi, this is Tony Agnesi. Attentiveness has really taken a hit in this fast-paced, time-famined world that we live in. There's always something else going on in our minds. Our smartphones are constantly ringing, beeping, and buzzing with calls, text messages, and email. We can't just catch up or catch a break even. We lose the present worrying about the past and anticipating the future. Debbie makes her way through the grocery store with three kids in tow, all under the age of five. The youngest is in tears, dropping her poo bear over the side of the cart onto the floor. The five-year-old wanders off to check out the cookie aisle, but Deb is tethered to her smartphone, planning a party with her sorority sister, while the kids are begging for her attention. Bill has finally gotten a night off to spend at home with the kids, and they're eager to share with dad their stories of soccer games and cheerleader competitions. But Bill's mind is a million miles away. He's worried about the big presentation he has tomorrow morning. And he half listens and later even can't remember what his kids shared with him. The next day during that big presentation, Bill feels guilty about not being more mindful of his own kids. Brad and Sue have been married for two years. Sue can't wait till Brad gets home from work to tell him about the promotion that she got that day. Brad walks into the house, barely acknowledging her, makes no eye contact, walks over to the refrigerator, pops down in the easy chair, drinking his beer. Brad's only concern is the rumor going around that his company might be laying off workers and that he might be one of them. He missed the opportunity to share in his wife's joy and having Sue console him in his fears. Brad and Sue are heading for divorce. No one would disagree that living in the moment and being mindful and being more attentive to the present sounds wonderful in theory, but doing it that's another thing. How can we be all in for our spouse and our kids and our friends and our coworkers? How can we put aside the problems from yesterday or be anxious about tomorrow and be mindful and more attentive about what's happening right now? Well, here are a few things we can try. First, remove the distractions. You know, when you get home from work, the smartphone and your car keys, take them from your pocket and put them away. I find that when I enter the house, I put my cell phone, plug it in and set it on the counter next to my car keys and I consider it a successful night when it never rings again. I consider it success that I don't have to touch it until tomorrow morning. Number two, quit multitasking and do one thing at a time. Many people would say that's impossible, but you know, research indicates that when you're shopping, watching your three kids, talking on your smartphone, you won't do any of those tasks correctly. Number three, make eye contact and listen. When your spouse or kids know, they know when you're paying attention. So stop what you're doing. Make eye contact and listen to them. Kids want dad to look them in the eye and to be truly happy for their accomplishments at school or at cheerleader practice or at soccer practice. Number four, ask questions. If you're not getting the whole story or having trouble following, ask questions, get clarifications. You do this, you won't be in the big presentation the next day feeling sad about ignoring your kids the night before. And number five, start with their lives before yours. You have things to share as well, but make it a habit of listening to the stories that your spouse and your children want to share before you share yours. Brad would have been able to celebrate Sue's promotion today by not fixing on the anxiety of what might happen at his job tomorrow. By starting with her first, 
she would have had the opportunity to console him and not only share her good news. Want a well-balanced and happy and fulfilling life? Then practice attentiveness. Be mindful of what's happening right now with your spouse, with your kids, with your friends. And let's try to be more attentive to the Lord too. That's what the Lord is asking of us. Let's clear away the distractions and listen. You know, God speaking to us, if we were just more attentive, we would hear. If you enjoy these reflections, you can subscribe or follow here. We'd love to have you join us. We post two new reflections each week. God bless you. This is Tony Agnesi.